barbecue food for you. Today, showing everyone Meathead's method to make bacon from scratch from AmazingRibs.com. To get the wet maple cured together, it's real easy. Here's the ingredients you're going to need for one pound of meat. If you have two, three pounds, just double, triple all the ingredients. Give it a quick stir and mix everything all together. Now this is only enough for one pound of meat, and we're going to be doing a little bit more than that. All stirred up, enough cure for four pounds of pork belly. Let's get it out of the fridge. If your butcher hasn't done it, go in, remove any little thin membranes and excess fat. Just roughly slice it into four one pound pieces. Take your wet cure mixture and evenly dispense it into your Ziploc bags. Add the pork bellies to the Ziploc bags. Seal it up and try and get as much air out as you can. Once you have it all sealed up, take the pork belly with the wet cure and just give it a little massage. Then place it in the fridge for 7 to 10 days at 34 to 38 degrees. Once a day, take the bacon out of the fridge, give it a gentle massage so the wet cure penetrates deep into the meat. Bacon's been in the wet cure for 10 days now. We're going to take it out, discard any excess liquid, and give it a rinse under some cold water. Then, just pat it dry with some paper towel. To smoke the bacon, we're going to be using our Weber 22 and a half inch kettle loaded up with Kingsford's Original Blue Briquettes for two zone indirect cooking. The wood we're going to be using is chunks of apple wood from Good Earth Fruit Wood. I got to thank Big Sid at Strode's Barbecue for letting me try it. Let's get a couple of these apple wood chunks on and let them start smoking away before we put the bacon on. Got the bacon on with our Maverick Ready Check all set up to keep an eye on the temperatures. Shut the lid, let it smoke for around an hour and a half to two hours, and should be all done. When cooking low and slow, to add a couple more briquettes, I like to start them on the side burner, get them nice and hot, and then throw them on with a pair of tongs. Looking good. Shut the lid, let that keep cooking until you hit an internal temp of 150 degrees. Bacon's been smoking for around two hours now. Maverick Ready Check says we're sitting at 151. We'll go in with a thermopen, check the temperatures. 145. 151. We're going to take these two top pieces off and let the bottom ones cook for a little bit more. The two top pieces of bacon are just off the grill. We're going to place it in the fridge for an hour or two to make it easier to slice up. Bacon all cooled down and just out of the fridge. Now you can slice it with a knife, but we're going to be using this food slicer. With the bacon all sliced up, tightly wrap it in saran wrap. You can place it in the fridge for up to two weeks or in the freezer for a couple months. Now time to cook it up. Throw it in a frying pan. Cook up some bacon on the grill in stones. Or put it back on the grill for some extra smoky bacon. Smoked bacon just off the grill. Homemade bacon from scratch. Following Meathead's in-depth information on AmazingRibs.com is easy to do. Barbecue food for you? Give it a try.